here we go. So we're going to do dividing, but it's really not called dividing polynomials, it's called um, factoring, okay? So I'll look and show you why you can still call it dividing. However, what is dividing? It's dividing it into two pieces, okay? So we're going to take everything that we've done the last two days with multiplication and reverse it. Yay. So, part one. First type of factoring. We're going to cover three or four types of factoring. This is the first. What's that? Greatest common factor. Greatest common factor. We know this. We just need to apply it to polynomials. So, let me give you an example. All right, so if I give you four and 20, what's the greatest common factor? Five. Four. 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 Common factor, the number that goes into both of them. Not the 20, but the four, because four goes into 20. All right, so let's try it again. What if I said 12 and... 12 and 30. Six. 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 Why not two? Because two is a common factor, but not a greatest. Yes? All right, one more. How about 27 and 81? Nine. 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 Wait, Wait, 27. 27, because 27 times 3 is yes. 81. Yes, it is. It was All a right. question. So the bigger the numbers, it's a little bit harder to figure out. The lower the numbers, easier. So here we go. So we're going to start lower. Number one. 5x to the third plus 25x squared plus 45x. So first, think to yourself, 5, 25, 45, what do they have in common? Five. But I also need to think what they have in common as far as the x's. What do the x's have in common? Um, they all have at least one x. So it's kind of like pieces of candy. This guy's got three, this guy's got two, and this guy's got get one. We want to know how many they can each give away. They can each give away one, because this guy unfortunately only has one. He's about to lose it. So now we're going to divide out. So what's 5x to the third divided by 5x? What will be left over? X squared. X squared. You could put the one here. It wouldn't hurt. 5 divided by 5 is 1, but it's kind of really It's just understood. Either. Understood. So plus 25 divided by 5. Five. 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 And then an x. Essentially, because we're dividing now, what are you doing with the exponents? You're like subtracting by one. Subtracting by one. There we go. And then the last one, 20, 45 divided by 5. So this guy is your GCF. This part right here, I call the leftovers. You'll understand why I call it leftovers here. Easy. So, questions. So essentially, this is what we started with two days ago, and we ended up with that. Now we're reversing it. Reverse. Okay. Number two. Answer. All right, here we go. 64 minus 48y to the fourth. What does 64 and 48 have in common? Eight. 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 Let's write it down. What will be left over if you take an eight out? By the way, can we take a y out? No. 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 Uh, 8 minus 48 divided by 8. 6y six 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 to the 4th. Here's the thing. The goal is to get it to the least, the smallest factor possible. What's wrong with 8 and 6? They can go smaller. There's still something in common. So was 8 an actual greatest common factor? No. No, it was just a common factor. But I'm not going to erase and redo it. I can just keep going on the same problem. What do 8 and 6 have in common? Twelve. Two. Well, two. What will be left over if you take a two out? Uh, four, four, four and three. Minus three. Three y. Four. What so do I do with this eight? Multiply by two. Divide multiply by two. I agree. So eight times two. Final answer. Sixteen. 16 four minus three y to the fourth. So, the very original problem, could I have gone straight to this and just realized that 16 goes into both of those numbers instead of 8? Mm -hmm. Yes. This is the final answer. Okay? That's
that's why I always say check your leftovers. Just like you were going to check your leftovers like in the fridge, like leftovers from like the night before, or you thought it was the night before, but you lost track of time and it's actually been a week and it's growing mold. Well, probably shouldn't eat it, right? Yes. Or like there's a scoop missing out of it because your older brother or little sister or whoever it was decided to take their own spoon and eat out of it and then put it back in the fridge. That's something my husband would do. Totally. Yes? Always check your leftovers. Make you sure they're all the way down. Whenever I think of leftovers, I always think of a half-eaten apple. But you who would leave a half-eaten apple to eat for later? <laughs> you <laughs> would. How come on the first <laughs> one when you bought it Or John, if you would leave a half a box of apple juice. I turn it like subtracted one, but on that one you can save Because this one we didn't take a while. Next one we're going to take a very Good question. Number three. Numero 36 P to the fifth plus 14 P to the third plus 35 P to the sixth. Three P's and a five. So 36, 14, 35, what do they have in common? Seven. No, not no. Seven. You might think two. No, that jacks it up. You might think seven. Oh, no, that jacks it up. Do they have anything in common? No. 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 But I can take a pee out. What, what, how many peas can I take out? Uh, three. Three. What do you scan for? Exponent. The lowest exponent. Because that's the least amount, okay? And oh, yeah. three would be included in the other ones, but this guy can only give away three. So, leftovers, 36p to the what? Second. Second. Plus 14p? No. Yep. No. no. Yeah, 14. Plus 35p to the third. Is it irking anybody that it's not in the standard? No. What's standard form? No. What's standard so form? You have to fix it? No, not really. Actually, standard to. forms where the ex the highest you exponent the is like um, it's in descending it's order. You have the highest exponent first, then you have the next highest exponent. Unless it says so right like standard form, probably it's always good to have it. Question, Sophia. So would you so standard form? Standard form was thirty-five. Two, three, four, two. Okay, so Alright, questions on that one. Alright, one more because we gotta deal with two variables. 33, m to the six, n to the second, minus nine, m to the fourth, n to the fifth. Highest exponent goes first, so it descends. How many M's can we take out? M or M? Four. M's four. And M's four. You can take four M's out. How many N's? Two. 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 And then what about the numbers? Loud three. 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 Nine doesn't go to 33, so it's only three. Then you ask yourself what will be left over. So 33 divided by three would be 11. You had six, you so took out the four. Second. M to the second. second. And then uh, just N. No, no, no. No, 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 And then N to the, oops, three. 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 N to the third. N to the third. Third. Check your leftovers. Do the 11 and 3 have anything in common? No. No? Are there any extra M's and N's that we can take out? Uh -huh. No. It's done. Whoop. Questions on the greatest common factor? Yeah. Oh. Mm. 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 I saw this on the ACT a couple years ago. <laughs> 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 